Utah Sports Nation on Z42. Welcome back to ASN, guys. You all know this guy very well. Former Razorback great Anthony Lucas joins us. Anthony, thanks for being here, bud. Thanks for having me, Jason. Yeah. Happy I can be on. Yeah, but first of all, tell us about this brand new gig you just got. Oh, it's awesome. It's amazing. I actually love my job, having a blast uh, with the kids, most importantly. Uh, and actually enjoying teaching right now, too. It's not, not as hard as I expect, that I thought it was going to be, but uh, it's been great. You know, football has been a, it's my passion. Right. It's been my love for a long time, and I just love it. It's, you know, and all the things that Coach Kelly presents and that offense that, that he has and that we have, right. I can say we now, yeah. uh, it's amazing. Now, you're the wide receiver coach yes. over at Pulaski Academy. Mm -hmm. What's it like working side by side with Kevin Kelly? It's been good. It's yeah. actually been good. A lot of good things. You know, prior to me taking the job, he was telling me some things as what we would do, you know, a, week, a weekly schedule and then a Friday night. And, you know, we put in a lot of hours, but it's been fun. You know, I talk to my wife when I come home sometimes and late on a Friday night, early Saturday morning, and she say, how you feeling? Are you tired? I say, yeah, I'm tired, but I'm saying I, I could go back and do it again because I love what I'm doing. Yeah. This has been my calling, you know. Football has been in my, it's in my blood. It's been in it since I've been a little boy, and to be able to coach guys on a, at this high school level has been awesome. And I don't coach on, I try not to coach on the high school level. I try to coach at the highest level, and the, the kids have been responding well. Now, obviously, you love, you know, the sport of football. How different is it to go from a player dominating on the field mm -hmm. to teaching on the sideline? You know, it's been difficult because I watch the guys run routes and the techniques that my, my guys use and everything. No, I'm like, all wrong. No, that's not <laughs> it. That's not it. You know, one thing, one of our biggest things, a lot, of, I know is a lot of high school guys do, is they like to come off the ball with their head down. That's their first move. I'm like, no, get your head up. Read the coverage because you never know if a receiver goes from a cover two to a cover three or may show you cover three or two and then come up and hit you in the mouth with your head down. That could happen. So I, just those little things. I always encourage them to do the little things, like look the ball into the tuck. I was t had to talk, get on one of my receivers just today, you know, yeah. to talk to them about that. So I'm big on doing the little things right because if you do the little things right, you're going to make big plays later on. And you're also, you know, you're coaching the future generation, some of yes. those future Razorbacks. What's yes. it like coaching talent like Hunter Henry? Oh, it's been awesome. You know, I've been help, I've helped Hunter a little bit, but Hunter has been blessed with the skill. Uh, it's just been in his blood, and I can't take all the credit for, I really can't take a lot of credit for Hunter Henry, but I have helped him with a little things like, not Hunter's so big and strong, he loves to run up, and if a guy get on him, he'll push off and then get into his route. So what I've been trying to coach Hunter, Hunter on is, hey, Hunter, don't push off with your hands. You know, I call it the chicken wing. You yeah. know, drop your weight and come out of there. And if you have to push off, just kind of chicken wing them. Right, there and you then go. come out of your break. So just those little things and telling Hunter just make sure he looks the ball into the tuck or sometimes he, he just catch it and, keep, and just be going. But he's a, he's a great athlete. That kid is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Now, is this, is this your first real coaching gig? Would yeah, you, actually my first real. Real, Real coaching, coaching gig. gig. Now, yes. what, what did you think heading in? What were you? What were your expectations heading in as a coach? I didn't know what to expect. Really, I was nervous. Um, still getting nervous at times, but I really didn't know what to expect. But Coach Kelly has done a great job of welcoming me, as well as the other coaches around me. And he's his signals are, you know, has been very difficult to learn. But now I'm kind of getting it down. I'm still and I'm still learning too. I have a lot to learn. I'm still learning. I don't know it all. But um, it was it was a little different, but I'm I'm adjust I am adjusting well, and I, I love it. Yeah, he's doing all sorts of different signals over there. Oh, I mean, man. <laughs> different signals, different combinations that we do, and you know, and one thing I, I've learned and I like, like starting to get to like about him a lot is that he said, "Anthony, I do I want to, I always want to give us two two reasons." or give us two chances, not just one chance on beating a guy. Right. I want to have options. And that's one, you know, that's and that's something that I wouldn't be I'm not used to. I had to make that adjustment because I could I, I can see Houston Nutt and Fitz Hill right now telling me, can you run by him? Right. What you seeing? What coverage are you seeing? I'm saying, yeah, coach, I can get by him. But it's not like that with, Co with Coach Kelly. Right. And it's been a real easy adjustment because it, it has made a lot of sense to me. So I've learned a lot. I have so much more to learn from him. Um, coach Runyon, Coach Pierre Runyon, offensive line coach, learning some things. Remember how to understand the blocking schemes and techniques as well. 
and also pitching in on defense to those guys, Coach Wood, right. Coach Wyatt, and all those guys. So just trying to learn it, the whole, the whole uh, concept right. of defense too, as well as offense from the offensive line and all the way, you know, all the way out. Obviously, because it's important. Right. Yeah. Now, obviously, you're a very busy guy here in Central Arkansas. Yes. You may have not. The team Plassey Academy plays tomorrow night. Yes. Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. What are you expecting? Well, you know, we're undefeated in, in conference play. Um, I'm a little nervous about yeah. this one. Going into Jacksonville, you know, when you look at uh, high school, you have senior night, their last home game, too, and they know that we have a lot to lose, and they don't have a lot to lose, but Jacksonville is very talented. They got they have some great talent on off, on defense. I've been watching those guys. Corners move pretty good. They do a couple blitzes, a couple, you know, they show mostly 4-3, and you know, they do a lot of the play cover three. They do, and they mix it up. But I don't know. A lot of, I've been watching film all year on different teams, and we don't see what they show us on film. Right. It's always something different. Maybe one or two teams we've seen that, hey, they actually played us in that coverage some, but they change it up a lot. Well, Coach Lucas, yes. thanks for swinging by. You're oh, welcome man, here great. whenever. Thanks for having me. Thanks I'm, so, I'm so happy we can make it work. I had a glass. Thank thanks. you very much.